gotta excuse my dirty bathroom, but I took my braids out. Thank you, Miss Tisha, for doing my braids, as she normally does. And when she does it, it stays in for a good two, three weeks. And my own laziness looks in. I'm just not going to take them out because what's the point of getting braids? And you just take them out a few days later. Um, so that being said, my hair breaks easily because it is very thin. It's a lot, but it's thin. So when I take the braids out, it breaks the ends off. And it makes it really bushy and poofy. And not to mention my edges are painted, but especially down over like by here, down by my ears, they stand up. My mama, her sisters, my sister, I guess it's a Stuart Jones Bryant thing, something in our DNA, but our hairline stands straight up. But the hair texture, and I'm saying all this because people have been asking me for the last three months, what do I do to my hair? I wash it once a week, thoroughly. Try to anyways when I get time. And all you need is a flat iron and a little bit of some softy. I prefer anything with hemp. Oil sheen is great for when you want to just wash it, blow dry it, and straighten it out real quick so that you got somewhere to be. But it doesn't heal the hair. What I like about the hemp products is in, in a for real oil base, it's not greasy, if that makes sense. It's, it's more for more so of either like the coconut souffle or, um, and I'll take pictures of these and put them up later. But you need something that's going to soak into the hair follicle itself and into your roots. Now I have very, very fine hair. You wouldn't think that. I wish I took a before picture and I forgot. You wouldn't think that beforehand. I washed my hair. I sectioned it off. Twisted it up. Because I didn't have time to sit here and blow dry and all that. No, that's going to give you all the rest of your shoulders. If you got a petition, do it for you, great. But no, we ain't got time for all that. I'm doing this after work. Before work and in between school and stuff. But all you have to do is put a little oil in it. I prefer doing it like the day or two before and put it close to your roots and you don't need a whole handful I don't understand what it is especially with people of color we want to be so excessive with everything you don't need to do all of that you don't you only need a fine thin very fine thin little bit on your hand So if you can see it, softy, it's the bomb. You literally only need not even enough to see it on your finger. This is too much. What I got on here is too much because it will make the hair heavy. I do put a little bit more onto my ends because as you can see, no matter how much you put to it, it's still going to get a little bushy and frizzy because my ends are so split. And again, that's primarily from the braids and not keeping it trimmed every three to six months like you should. Depending on how fast your hair grows. Um, and I don't cut my hair nothing but once a year. I only get my ends professionally trimmed once a year, if that. Um, but it makes it stronger. So, yeah, and the front laces, I just found out what the front lace was, officially. But you can... Yank it, pull it, all of that ain't nothing coming out. Why? Because no matter how much force you use, I would literally have to shred it out by the root if you were to pull my hair. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you can't get a handful and yank it and think it's about to rip out like a regular piece of weave. But it's not going to. But I know some females with natural hair who's even though they haven't used chemicals, relaxers, and all that in a long time, the hair is still very weak. And it's weak because we don't nurture it because it does come from our skin. Our, your scalp is still skin. If you don't keep your scalp properly nutritioned, 
take your vitamins, all of that. I was turning on niacin. Prenatal vitamins are great because they got a little bit of everything. The one a day is for ladies. Um, again, it's niacin and folic acid. It's good for your female body. It's good for your hair and nails. It's good for your skin, college, anything with collagen in it. Um, I actually just found out today that there's a disease, I guess you could say. It's a, a health issue. People are born with a lack of collagen, so by the time they're in their teenage years, they look like they're 82. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah, take your collagen, your niacin, your folic acid, ladies. But that's all it is. I mean, a, li a little bit of this stuff. This is the bomb. I love it. Been using my grandma been using this on my head since I was a little girl. And flat ironing. The key is though, brush it out so you don't pull all your hair out. Comb it. Go back and brush with not this kind of brush, but the the bristle brush which I already put up. And then as you're doing it, Google Dominican blowout method. Okay. And see how they take the round brush. And then as they're pulling the hair with the brush, they're going directly behind it instantaneously with the heat, be it the flat iron, be it the blow dryer. And it really works. If your hair can't handle heat, if it won't hold the heat, I don't recommend it. This is a two-day process because it takes so long for me to wash it and dry it. I do it like that because I'm not going to sit under the hair dryer at home. I don't have time to. Okay. And the less heat you can put on your hair, the less damage, long-term damage you're doing to your hair. But oil chain is good as a heat protector. There is an oil, um, oil base polish, different types of polishes that you can use. Those are good for after the fact. But this is an all-in-one. There's a couple of other ones and it says light and natural hair and scalp treatment. Indian head um, is made by Softy. But there's a couple other brands that are thin like this. They're not Vaseline thick and it's not Blue Magic thick, heavy grease. So that when you do put the heat to it, it doesn't leave your hair all he like heavy and cakey and all of that. So enjoy. I'm going to put this out for you guys because, like I said, I have had people that ask me for the last three months, what do you do to your hair? Nothing. I wash it. I condition it before I wash it if it's really bad and tangled and stuff, especially after I take my braids out. The biggest thing, if you do take your braids out, you know how it's all kinky, run the conditioner through it without water, without the water, and run it through like you would lotion on your skin, lotion, or, or, or like you're getting ready to dread it up, scrub your hair. I don't know if I can do it on here, but I literally, all the way down, root to tip, with the conditioner. Rinse it out good, using that same method. Do the same thing with the shampoo, condition it again, rinse real good, you rinse it out in the shower, that way you can use the, those super powerful shower settings if you got an awesome shower head. But, yeah, make sure you get all the soap and stuff out. Let it air dry if you can. Put a teensy tiny bit of oil on it while it's still wet and you're letting it air dry. Or if you're going to roller set it, you know, go ahead and run it through. And as you're sectioning off, sectioning your hair off to put rollers in, put that in there. It works. It makes your hair strong. It makes it last longer and your sweat is not gonna your body heat is not gonna make it go poo <laughs> really big and for those of us with curly really frizzy hair you understand what I mean but that's it enjoy I really hope this helps somebody because I'm sick of y'all asking me how I do my hair when I don't do nothing to it I wash it I might iron it out. Other than that, it's in a ponytail. So, if it's looking raggedy on a regular basis, I'm sorry. Oh, well.